Hey guys, welcome back. If you are new to my channel, my name is Allie and welcome to Beauty With A Purpose. If you are new here, my name is Allie. I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, you guys, I have for you guys a everyday makeup routine. So this is what I do when I'm in a hurry. Some days I can do this in like 10 minutes if I skip out on the cream products. But other than that, you guys, let's go ahead and get into this video. Oh, and you can also do this without lashes and pile on the mascara. That's how I also do this look in 10 to 15 minutes. So yeah, go ahead and watch this video. Go ahead and continue watching, and I hope that you guys enjoy. All right, you guys, so first things first, as always, gonna go ahead and put our head back with the headband. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Pixi Flawless Beauty Face Primer. I love this primer, it really makes your face super glowy. Next, we're going in with this Photo Finish Primerizer by Smashbox. Now, I like this one because not only is it going to moisturize, but it is going to blur all of your imperfections, such as pores, texture, and all of that. And as always, my NYX Bear With Me spray, I, I don't know why I'm so extra, but look how glowy and pretty this whole process made my skin look. So after that, we are gonna go ahead and go in with brows. I'm taking my Profusion Good Brow Good Brow Day Brow Pencil, and I believe I just have mine in dark brown, darkest brown, whatever brown that is dark, that is not red tone. And so with this pencil, I do just outline, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Elf Pomade in dark or medium brown. And as you can see, it looks really intense, but what I love about the e.l.f. pomade is that as soon as I go through it with the spoolie, it's really going to help that look more natural. So it's really blendable, really creamy, but not too creamy, but also not too stiff to where it's not blendable. To clean up my brows, I'm taking my Rare Beauty Concealer, and that is this is my biggest problem, covering my whole face with my mirror. I either need a smaller mirror or need to work on not covering my face. But we're just cleaning up our brows with that um, concealer. So after that, we are going to go ahead and prime our lids with the CoverGirl Lid Lockup Primer. I love this eyeshadow primer. I really do believe that it helps your eyeshadows last super long, go on smooth. It doesn't cause it to be patchy or anything like that. And we're going to use our e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette in Cream and Sugar. And we're just using that cream shade to set down that eyeshadow primer. Then we're going in with Pumpkin Pie. And we're just going to use this color right here out on the edge to blend into our crease as our transition crease shade. I don't really want to say transition because I'm only using using two different eyeshadows. So next I'm going back into the cream and sugar eyeshadow palette and we're going to take this lighter shimmer shade and just place that all over the lid just for a little pop. I love looks like this because it looks like you put in a lot of effort but it was so fast. Just a crease shade, go ahead and brighten up that brow bone and put a shimmer on, boom. And for mascara for our top and bottom lashes we're going to go ahead and use the Tardis Lash Paint Mascara. And remember, this is just to coat our lashes for these falsies right here, which are my current favorite lashes, are the, Lu are the Kiss Lux Extension Lashes in Classic. And that's just how they look. I think they're so pretty and just really emphasize your eye shape. I do have to trim mine. And for foundation, this is the foundation now. We're going in with the Rare Beauty Foundation. Now, I just swipe this on. I love this foundation because you can build it up or you can wear it really light. So for a day like this, I'm not really going to build it up. I didn't go back and dip into it. I just kind of used all the product that was on the doe foot from that initial pullout. And this is the kind of coverage that you end up with. And if you are curious, I'm in the shade 250W as well as in the concealer, which is what we are going to be brightening up our face and concealing with today so I'm just going to take this under my eyes very little product down the center of my face and I do that around my mouth to kind of cause a lifting effect because I have a very very round face and so I want it to kind of look elongate, elongated so I do like to go around the outsides of the mouth with that 
And the next thing we're going in with is our Milk Makeup Matte Cream Bronzing Stick. And I love this brush right here for bronzing. It's by Loris Lorec, however you say it. And um, it's just really good for sculpting and really getting in there. I could say I'm contouring, but I'm kind of doing a twofer, so bronzing and contouring. And then I'm taking my e.l.f. Putty Blush in Bali. And this is the cream blush that we're doing today. And Again, we're just gonna kind of apply this toward, not so much on the apples, but like from the back of, like from the apples back, but not right in the front. And then taking the Milk Makeup Highlighting Stick, and I just take this one with my finger and tap it onto all the usual places that I would normally highlight. Now I'm going in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. You guys, I was obsessed with this at the time of filming this video, which was the beginning of May, end of April. And you guys, I forgot how good this setting powder was. Like I truly did forget. It's such a goodie for such an affordable price. Next, I'm going in with the Araceli Eyeliner in Chocolate. I've really been loving this on my simple days because it adds a little bit more dimension and glam, but it really helps your eyes pop, but it's super simple and not as intense as black. Next, I'm going in with this Complex Culture Blush and Bronzing Duo. I'm going to use the blush and bronzer in this. Obviously, bronzer for bronzing and blush for blush. And for highlight, we're going in with our Milani highlighter. I absolutely love this highlighter because it's not too much, but it's not too little. It's like the perfect in between and super good for a glowy a spring makeup look. And I don't know where you live, but spring here is super hot. <laughs> okay, and for setting our brows, we're going in with the Wet n Wild Brow Obsessive Brow Gel. I know I gave this brow gel grief whenever I first got it, but I really do love it. It's an amazing brow gel. I just don't recommend getting clear. Okay, and for lips, all I'm going to do is take this LA Girl Lip Pencil in Sugar and Spice and fill my lips in. And I love just filling them in with a lip liner on days like this because, you know, like it kind of lasts longer and I don't have to worry about it going all over the place and it's not glossy so I don't have to worry about like if my hair flies into it or anything like that. Again, I said I'm a mom, so I love simple things for moms. And that is it for this makeup look, you guys. All right, you guys, that is for it for today's makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, let me know, um, what is your everyday makeup routine? What are some of your favorite to everyday makeup products? What are some products I need to try? You guys know my vibe, I'm a mom. I like easy lashes to put on, easy eyeshadow looks, very easy products to work with that are easy to blend out for an everyday basis. So yeah, if you have any of those suggestions, go ahead and leave them down below in the comment section. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.